Hello guys, Josh Aaron. Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers G1 Smokescreen. Now this is a slight retool of Blue Streak and Prowl, but they're all three the 1979 Datsun 280ZX, but this one is a recent addition, so it's the 280ZX-R, uh, which later became the 300ZX, then the 350Z, and the 370Z that you know of today. Now this is also based off of a racing car, which was a pretty much exact replica of the Electri Electromotive, I believe is what they were called, racing team out of Japan. And the only difference is, instead of having the number 83, they changed the number to 38. Uh, other than that, it's exactly the same. So you can actually go look up, uh, you know, pictures of that car online. You'll see that it's just pretty much an exact replica. So it's a really awesome car to have. Uh, show it to you here side by side with uh, Blue Street. As you can see, there's a few minor differences. They actually added a lip spoiler here at the front. So uh, the bumpers are a little bit different there. Bring it onto the side. Other than the paint scheme, there's really not a whole lot that changes. Uh, you know, the side skirt here is exactly the same. They changed where the rub symbol is. So instead of on the door, they put it here on the top. Because, as you can see, this one does not have T-tops. And it doesn't even have the cutout mold for the T-tops. Because on Prowl, even though they had the siren, they still had the like little cutout sections. They were just painted over for T-tops. And then on the back section, the bumpers are exactly the same. But as you can see, Smokescreen does have a spoiler back here. So there's a little nice 360 of him, get everything else out of the way. And does have rubber wheels and die cast here in the back as well. Still has the breakable parts that Blue Streak and Prowl had with uh, these two back sections right here. And also this windshield piece being very delicate as well. I forgot to point out that these guys do roll quite well having rubber tires. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you with that. We'll go ahead and get into the transformation. Uh, you've probably already seen this if you've seen the Blue Streak and... Um, video I did I did them in the same one but basically we're going to open these doors here I just kind of pull these up for a second do that separate the fist right here and we'll kind of start pulling these out there we go then with this section here we're going to pull the legs down flip the crotch up spin it around put the crotch back down pull these down and pull them out and that'll lock the feet into place to where it doesn't rock back and forth so I'm give you guys a little bit better view there come down with this uh, front bumper section here or the hood whatever you prefer you want to call it and then you just get these arms the way that you want them now this is the Takara collection number five and I got a really good deal on it uh, like I kind of pointed out in the Prowl and Blue Streak review the Autobot symbol is modeled off of those three characters' face, so a uh, little extra bonus there. And Smokescreen was actually a really cool character. He appeared, I believe, in Season 5, where he was a second-year release uh, character, to where he actually had, I guess you could say, like an extra power. Uh, whenever he would drive, Optimus would say, you know, sometimes Smokescreen, you know, we need... You know, we need a shield or we need a distraction or something like that. So he would actually drive around and have smoke coming out of his pipes to kind of use as a distraction or a smoke screen, if you will. If you want to play up on words, that's kind of where he got his name. But that's why he's called that. Kind of like Mirage could turn invisible and stuff like that. So I thought that was always kind of cool with, you know, some of the Autobots having their extra powers. You know, you also had, you know, Hound as well that had, a, you know, an extra power as well. So... Give you guys a nice little 360 of this guy. It's a really, really nice figure. And this being a Takara Collection uh, version, the missiles, you know, they do launch. So there you go. Really strong springs for how small a vehicle this is. So we'll do some size comparisons real quick. Uh, you know, there he is with Prowl. Same size. They're pretty much the same thing. But we will get... Side swipe in here. So as you can see, he's quite a bit taller. And if you collect third-party figures, here is uh, Fans Projects. Uh, what is it? Breakdown or is it T-Bone? No, it's not. It's Car Crash. So I forget what the names are. But there it is. There is Smoke Screen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching the video. And hopefully after this one, I'll have either Metroplex or Scorponok or someone like that. So a really good video for you guys on Friday. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you liked it. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like these type of G1 third-party things, and I'll talk to you later.